Hey guys, Aaron here for the love of tech, and today I had no intention on going to Apple, but somehow I did. Stick around and find out exactly what's inside that bag. Let's get into it. We have the iPad Pro Smart Keyboard Folio. So this actually looks pretty awesome. So let's go ahead and just open this up. I'm sure in typical Apple fashion, there's a little tab somewhere on here. And there's not, which means it's okay. We have our trusty unboxing knife that we will use probably only once today. So let's go ahead and just get right into this. And let's see what this is. Wow. All right, this is pretty slick. If I don't mind, this feels so much different than the old one. Oh wow, a little bit of stuff in here. That's about it, smart keyboard. And here is the folio. There it is, guys. Put your pad in there, it goes up and down. We'll get more into that later. Next is, we'll just put that down there, so in case if it falls, it's already on the floor. So here is the Apple Pencil. Now this Apple Pencil is definitely a little bit different from the previous Apple Pencil, and I have mine in the other room. We're gonna go ahead and do a quick little comparison at the end so you can actually see for yourself what the difference is between these two Apple Pencils. Little piece of information. New Apple Pencil will not work with old iPads. Old Apple Pencil will not work with new iPads because it doesn't have a way to pair it through the lightning connector. This one doesn't have have lightning so that's something to keep in mind the technology is not cross-generation so you got to stick to where it belongs put it upside down here we go papers no charger because it charges on your iPad now let's get into the iPad just, just to mention, right, this, this is gorgeous. Do you see that, guys? Do you see that? Do you see that wallpaper? This is gorgeous. Apple did a really good job here, and I'm really excited. Uh, it means they're getting a little bit more creative, a little bit more bold, putting their best foot forward. All right, guys, here we go. Anticlimactic. It's just ripping off easier and easier these days. Here it is, iPad Pro. Oh, I did not want to come out of the box. Set that aside and let's take a look and see what's inside. Got our papers designed by Apple in California, no surprise there. We now have our USB-C to USB-C adapter. This is a very first time Apple has ever done this, so this is phenomenal. This also appears to be pretty legit charger. If I had to guess, because it is bigger than what we normally get, I have no idea if this is a fast charger or not, but I will do some research, I think it is. And I think if I had to guess, that's all that we got in the box. So that is it, but it is a gorgeous box as always. Apple definitely knows how to put together a nice, good, plain, simple box, but also make it look good. Just by holding this and not even taking it out of the wrapper, this feels like, it feels like a tablet. You know, like I want to use the word tablet and not pad. I feel like iPad is somewhat more of a softer term than a tablet. Like this feels unusual. The texture, how you hold it, it, it let's just open it up and let's look at it. Sh shut up, Aaron. Stop talking and open up the iPad. Okay. Stop talking and open up your iPad. Easy peasy. Couple things I notice right away. We have some connectors here, which is definitely new. We have a camera hump right here, which is new for the iPad. You know, even though it's there, it's not, it's not giving me a lot, a play. So it, it rests in such a way that I think that it raises itself up. 
Well, guys, I think the next thing to do is to connect it. Oh, guys. See, line the connector up with the connector. That's what we do. So here are little three, three little metal round dots of connector. And here are three other connectors. So I think you match it up. It should just be that easy peasy because that's what Apple likes to do. That connected in such a way where I didn't even feel like it was magnetized, but it is. This is a completely, completely different look and feel for the iPad. It's like it's... It does, it feels like a pro device now. Whereas before, the other iPad, which I commonly refer to as the giant iPad, was just the giant iPad. Nothing really pro about it. This, on the other hand, it looks and feels like it's about to get down to business. Let's get down to business. Power button. Let's see if it came with any juice. A little bit of juice. This, this is the only thing I, I've never been crazy about with this case, is that when you're not using it and you have it here, the keys are here, and sometimes I feel like, like I'm pressing a button, because I am, right? It feels kind of weird. Hello. So now, to mention, there's two different positions for your iPad. There's that one, and then there's this one. This one, I would imagine, is more for in the lap. This one, I would imagine is probably more for at the tabletop. Gosh, the bezels on this are so much thinner and we'll compare later on, so just calm down, we'll get there. But the bezels on this are so much thinner than before. You guys see that there? And it looks like they're the same size all the way around, which is also new. All sorts of new stuff. Let's, let's get this thing going. I think I gotta swipe up because there's no more home button. This is the new amazing thing about Apple these days. A uh, quick setup. So it senses that it's here and my phone's here and then I just hit unlock to continue. So it's gonna scan my face and then uh, we're gonna hit continue and we're going to set up a new iPad. And I'm gonna prefer to do it this way versus transferring over my old iPad because I wanna start fresh, I wanna start new. I don't wanna dump all of my old apps back onto this. It says finish it up on your I iPad, easy. So you enter in the passcode off of my iPhone this is to make sure that uh, I'm not stealing it. Here it is, guys. We got it all set up, easy peasy, super fast. My next step is I'm gonna go to my old iPad Pro and I'm gonna put my SIM card in it so that way I have cell service. I don't have to worry about connecting to Wi-Fi everywhere I go. I'm gonna also go through the steps, do some Apple Pay, set some stuff up. I'm actually gonna do the thumbnail that I'm gonna use for this video here on the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil. Speaking of the Apple Pencil, there's this little connector right up here. Let me show it to you guys. So up here, there is this connector. I know you can see that on this view right here. So there it is. And there's a flat side to the Apple Pencil. You see there's a couple different sides to it. And then there's a flat side that actually says pencil. So hopefully you can see that there in the camera and it focuses on it for you. But you just take the flat side and it just, it goes to the home and then look, Look, it, it syncs it up automatically and it says, do you want to sync to this iPad Pro? And the answer is yes, yes we want to. Would you like to use this pencil? Connect, there we go. And then it goes through a whole little explanation on stuff you can do and this is where Apple is better than everyone else. Integration. Say it with me. Integration. Integration. Perfect. Means Everything integrates with each other easily, easy peasy, as I like to say. Come over here, continue, giving me little instructions. That's it, came out of the box 100% charged. I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna work on a thumbnail for you guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this unboxing. It went pretty quick. iPads, if you had one, you've had them all, no big deal. But the insides of this one is what's supposed to make it pro. This is the 512 with six gigs of RAM. I decided not to go up to the terabyte because it was so expensive. This setup right here with the iPad, the folio case, and the Apple Pencil and Apple Care already ran me 2,000 bucks. So the question, is this a computer replacement? The answer, 
is it depends on who you are. Some people will look at this and say, I can do everything on this that I can do on my computer. It all depends on what you do on your computer. Do you follow me? Do you see where I'm going with this? There isn't a yes, there isn't a no. It depends on what you're using it for. And if you can do everything you need to do in your life on this device and not have a Mac, not have a MacBook Pro, not have an iMac, not have a PC, if you can do it all on here and you spend two grand on it, well, why the heck not? That's what I have to say. Why can't this replace your computer? If it can't, you know your needs better than me. I don't have to tell you. Thanks for checking out the video. If you're new to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell. If you're not new to the channel and you're already subscribed, double check to make sure you're hitting that notification bell so you get notified when the videos come out. For the Leva Tech is always doing a giveaway. That is right, we're doing a giveaway. We have one coming up mid-December. There's gonna be all sorts of amazing things in it. Link in the description as to what's going to be in the giveaway. Enter, have fun, share, post, retweet. If you're here and you've been around forever and you want to get a couple extra entries the old-fashioned way, let me go ahead and get a Roman numeral 7,863 dash and tell me, do you think this I pad pro can be a replacement for your computer or your laptop tell me what you think in the description then if you want to go ahead and get some entries additionally let me go ahead and get some social media shares if you know what those are you go ahead and take a screenshot of you sharing my video on your social media you take multiple screenshots multiple shares one email send it to contact me at the number for the love of tech.com go in your drawers go under your your closet <laughs> you can't go under your closet go under your sink go behind your refrigerator go under your bed look for the boogeyman and while you're down there look for some old electronics that nobody's using anymore dust them up shine them up give them to someone that doesn't have them. put a smile on someone's face and for the love of tech namaste